Beyonce fans, listen up. Today, a brand new album is out with never before heard tracks from Girls' Time. That is the group that would evolve into Destiny's Child and, of course, launch Beyonce's career. Beyonce's father, Matthew Knowles, releasing the recordings along with a new book. And we sat down with him ahead of the launch to talk about Beyonce's journey to becoming one of the greatest entertainers of our time. It's one of the most popular names in the entertainment industry. But Beyonce didn't become a star in a day. The roots of her success grown here in Texas, where she started in a group called Girls Time. She started with failure at 10 years old. Maybe it was 11 on Star Search, which is like American Idol today. Her dad, Matthew Knowles, was a successful medical sales rep in Houston. His then wife, Tina, a businesswoman. She didn't win, she lost. She was in a group that was signed to a major record label, Electra Records. They got dropped by the record label. But those mistakes and failures, he says, fueled his daughter to grow and learn to not give up. Passion, work ethic, determination, and discipline set up a date with Destiny. Destiny's Child went on to sell more than six million records worldwide, winning several awards, including two Grammys. We supported them. We knew that was their passion because when you live your passion, you never work a day in your life. Dr. Knowles' new book, Destiny's Child, The Untold Story, is out today, along with an album of previously unreleased music. Looking back, he's proud of the paths both his daughters took. Solange, also an accomplished singer, writer, and actress. The key to the success of Solange and Beyonce is they were surrounded by tools that their parents, me and my former wife, Tina, we gave them the tools for them to go and find their passion. And Mr. Knowles lives in Houston. He also teaches and speaks about the music business as well as social justice. And something else you may not know, he is a male breast cancer survivor. Part of my mission is to change the concept for men when it comes to breast cancer. I think the word is wrong for men. I think it should be male chest cancer. Noel says changing the name may encourage more men to be aware and get tested, and we're happy to report today he is cancer-free.